Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna make deviled eggs for the very first time, and this is the recipe I'm gonna use. Melanie's daughter, Claire, she's been bugging me to make deviled eggs, and then my mother-in-law wants them for her birthday because today's her birthday. So I was like, "All right, we're gonna make them today, Chris." And we made we used this lovely machine that we got at the. Christmas game that you we see, play every year. You see this lovely egg machine here? Yes. Yes. See it? Can you see it? Yeah! And I'm about to cut the eggs. Hope I do it right. Never done this before. One of the whites are not going to come out right, Chris. It broke. One of the whites broke, babe. Well, bring it over here to me. I eat it. You gotta wait. I'm well, trying not to break any more. Look at this white. Mmm. 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 Hey, what's up? I'm cutting the eggs in half like I'm supposed to. And taking the yolk out. Without trying to break any more eggs. Because Chris is having fun with them. <laughs> yes, I am. Because that's Chris's favorite are eggs. Yes, it is. Bill and Peter and them call him the Egg Man. I am the Egg Man. And I own up to that name. And they say he's got chickens in his stomach. Well, I don't know if I got chicken in my stomach, but hey. And many eggs you eat, Chris, you might. <laughs> I might turn into a chicken. Yeah, Chris might just turn into a chicken, everyone. And fly away. And then after we cut them, we're going to um, mash up the yolk part to put them to put all the ingredients in. Some of these eggs, I put them in a regular pot and boil them. Because that machine that we got... On the whole seven. Only holds seven eggs. And I like the machine. Me and Chris both like the way they boil. And does it feel good, Chris? Yeah, it, I, I, I give it like round by the eight. It, 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 it's fair. It feels better than when you boil them in, on the stove? Yeah. Well, we know they feel better in that machine than on the stove. Let's see when I use it to make an omelet. I haven't done that part yet. <laughs> no, no, I like my omelets on the stove. Yeah, me too. But my cousin Claire. I think more of my aunt's girl, grand, grandkids, more like my nieces and nephews. So basically I'm going to say my, my niece Claire and her daddy have been bugging me to do these devil eggs. So they got to be thankful. My mother-in-law said this is what she wanted for her birthday. From her daughter-in-law. So, is the reason why I'm doing them. One of the reasons. Because it's not something I really wanted to mess with. But my baby likes them also. My Brad over here, Chris. He also likes them. Like, don't you, Walker? That's right. Maybe if I learn how to make them. Chris will top it bugging Tabitha. Right, Chris? Maybe you'll stop bugging Tabitha? Maybe. Or you still want Tabitha's instead of mine? I want hers, too. Oh. Well, have you had your mother-in-law's yet? No. You never had my mom's? No. Nope. I thought my mom made them one time and you had them. No, nope, she never did. Oh, okay. Mom makes pretty good devil babies, from what I know. No, I 
बने उठे जो मदद दे रही है And these are 13, no, 18 eggs here. Yeah. 18 eggs, baby. I think we should have made more, but we're low on eggs today. All right, we're low on eggs. We are low on Maybe eggs. Maybe I should have bought two 18s first. Uh, we are low on Maybe some. I should have bought two 18s that day. And uh, we don't need to do a whole lot of uh, double eggs. That's enough. Uh, you know your sister Angie wants some. Oh yeah. Angie always wants some. She always wants some. Well, you always want what Angie cooks too, don't you, Chris? Yeah. Okay then. Well, she don't always bring me none. Yes, she does. Not all the time. And you got to get off at the time she was supposed to get off today. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. That's good. Now, we're going to have Chris in the video mashing the egg because I think he's better at doing that part than me. Yeah, doing the mashed potatoes. But you're going to do it in the video, Chris. See? I know y'all miss me. But y'all love me. Y'all love it, Daddy. Let's see first thing, let's see that. Why Chris not in it? He loves it then. I said because he wants to be a butthead. Yeah. Let's see what it yesterday. On he my love, phone. He loves it then. But now I got 17 views on it, Chris. That's good. Somebody else watched it. That's good. Clara never said no, I said that, so I deleted the video. Yeah. I got one more egg to cut, Chris. You got one more eggy? Here, Chris. What's wrong with it? I'm not going to be able to use it. I did good. What, babe? What, honey? So I think I did good. Yeah, but some of them are cutting, getting out, I mean, breaking, and you can't. From what I understand, from what my mom always told me, and Melanie bitched about it, too, because I guess she had Bill do Devil Day one day yeah. for the holiday. Yeah. And Bill had broke all the yolk, all the eggs. Sometimes when you peel an egg, it don't always come out like you think. I don't care if you put a little salt in the water. To boil, because salt is supposed to help when you peel and run it under cold water. It's supposed to help peel. I just the egg. I remember that day they were bitch, Melanie was bitching. Yeah. It was about, these, about Bill doing the devil egg that he screwed up somehow. And... It ain't always easy to peel. It don't always come out right. Okay. Ouch. Are we going to put them in the smaller bowl to smash them, Chris? No, we're going to keep them right in that bowl. Okay. I need... What you need? I'm going to need something to put them in once we get everything mixed up. Like a... I got a plate I can use. Okay, Chris, come over here. Come over to my place. You're going to have Chris for a minute. Yeah, y'all going to have Big Daddy for a minute. Yeah, I'm getting out of it. Why? Why you got to get out of it? Yeah, make sure they see my face. And see your lovely shirt the girls made you? Yeah. There you go. See now right here, I'm finna smash the eggs, the yolkies, with a fork. You know what I mean? 
And then once I get through smashing them, she'll put the she'll be back here and put the ingredients in it. You know what I mean? This is a teaspoon, right? Uh, yeah, it I says don't... teaspoon on that. The mayonnaise. So, you know, it's just like mashing these yolks. I feel like I'm doing making homemade mashed potatoes, which I love, by the way. I don't like the store bought mashed potatoes. But they ain't good. I don't think none of my family like the store bought mashed potatoes. I like a homemade with a little milk, butter, a little salt, a little pepper. And fresh oregano when we have it. Yeah. Yeah, these right here looking good, baby. Yeah, I like my well, I'm not going to use Dijon mustard, whatever that is. Uh, I don't D, have D, Dijon mustard. mustard. I don't no, have it. I'm no, we don't have mustard. it, so we're going to put in yellow, regular, mustard. yellow regular mustard. And this one said it should still be good. Of course. I'm using what I got, people. That's right. We're using what we got. We're using what we got. I said we're using what we got. We're not using I think him. we're using what we got. We're not using him because my brat doesn't like him. And he likes Miracle Whip. That's right. I love Miracle Whip. Hammond's mustard. That ain't me. You mean mayonnaise. Hammond's mayonnaise. Well, Hammond's mayonnaise. My correction. All right. So, you know. Here's the salt. Okay. Okay. We are going to... Okay, it called for three teaspoons of mayonnaise. So, since we're using 18 eggs, we're going to put four teaspoons of mayonnaise. One. Two. Okay, mayonnaise on my arm. <laughs> you want to close that when you have a chance? Yeah. I need to rinse the spoon off so I can do the mustard. We don't want to mix it until we mix it, mix it. Okay, it called for one teaspoon of mustard, so we're going to put, we'll put two crisps or three. Of uh, what? The, uh, of mustard. I'm going to say put, what did it call it for? One yeah. teaspoon. Well, put one teaspoon. But you got 18 eggs. Well, then, let's go with your, go You with know your what? Go. I'm going to do it this way, Chris. You know what that sounds like? Chris, I don't want to know. I ain't gonna say it. I, just I really don't like mustard, so don't say it. Well, mustard is a heartburn. What? Mustard is heartburn. It's what? Heartburn. Why you say that? So you, when you eat it, it get, some people get heartburns okay, from eating mustard. Okay, and we're gonna put one, one half teaspoon of salt. But we're not gonna use a measuring spoon. We're gonna use my hand. And that's about a teaspoon. Put a little bit more. I'm going to say one, a half a teaspoon. Should I put salt too? Because that recipe don't call for salt. Yeah, it do. I mean, it doesn't call for pepper. Add the pepper. Got to have a little pepper. Got to have a little pepper for the stuff. Well, it doesn't call for pepper, but we're going to put just a little bit. Just because that's what my brat wants. 
That ain't right without the pencil. Yeah, because I put my brown ones. And I'm going to put a little bit of the chime inside and on the top. Put a little bit of the paprika in the inside and on the top. If I can open it. He said, I don't want to open. It's broke, Crystal. Wait. Oh, Lord, the lid is broke. The top piece? Yeah. And go on? Yeah. That's why I had a hard time taking it off. Oh, Lord. She, she broke me. Okay. We got all our ingredients in here. It's time to mix it up. Here. Okay. Now we can mix. You see everyone? We got to mix everything in here now. That's nice, Okay, people, we're going to do the second step. You got to rinse off. I'm going to go with a smaller spoon, Chris. Yeah, you, you got oh, We got a smaller spoon. Yeah, this one in here. Okay. We're going to put them on here. We're going to use a smaller spoon. Put my glasses back on. <laughs> I mean, I gotta put my glasses back on. I hear you see. I'm just hoping they come out right. Is that too much? No. I don't want that this right. This right, just put a little bit out of the time. Take your time. Make sure all of them get filled. Your mother lucky I love her. Ah, she know that. Why? I said she know that. And this is not what I wanted to do today, Chris. Well, your dear mother-in-law says she wanted that for her birthday. So the day is her birthday, and that's what she wanted. Angie, the Aunt, Aunt Louise? Yeah. It would have been her birthday, too, today. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. So this is it also in the honor of somebody I called my aunt also, my best friend. Aunt that passed away last year. It would have been her birthday today. God rest her soul. Right, Chris? Yep. Well, I think I did pretty good for the first time. Yeah, you did. You're saying, yeah, I did, like, not really. Yeah, you did it uh, for your first time. You did good. If Barbara was talking to me. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Anytime, y'all. I deleted her number. I'm done, Chris. I can't keep doing it. Anytime, y'all be Chris, talking. did you hear me? I, I don't want to hear it, because I know, by the grace of God's name of Jesus, y'all be talking again. Uh, God, Chris, I'm not the one that ended it. 
Y'all didn't do nothing to her. Y'all didn't do nothing to neither one of each other. It just she going through some whatever. That may be. When people go through some, they feel like nobody don't understand. So, hey. All that you can I do. I just have friends that do for me. I'm sorry. All thing you can do for people like Barbara or anybody like that, you pray for them. That's what you do. You pray for them. You don't neglect them. You don't say, oh, fuck them. They ain't my friends no more. I'm tired. No, you pray for them. And in time, things will work out. Y'all will stop by talking. You know how to pray for folks these days. Okay. This is not going to all fit in this bowl. Well, you got to get another plate. How I many you got left? A bunch of them. Well, that means you got to take down another plate. We got to get another plate, people. We got to get another plate, people. We got to get another plate. You know what? Let me do something. What you going to do? After I do this, I can turn that off. First. Yeah. Because it's a finished project. Product. Right? Product. You know, product. Pop, pop, pop. I can turn it off. We can turn it on, baby. Turn off the lights. And light a candle. Hey. Right, Anna, get it right now, baby. Get it right. There you go, get it right. There you go, get it right. This is the finished product. Everything is done over here. So now we're going to turn off the video. And Chris is going to do what he needs to do for me. So we can get it to download so I can send it to Sabrina. Everyone have a wonderful afternoon, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. I will see you later. Bye-bye.